Hello everyone and welcome to Joy Homestead. My name is Jamie and it is week six of this summer's growing season. I am located in Virginia zone 6B, 7A, right on the cusp there and kind of a little foothills microclimate. So come with me and I'll show you what's going on in the garden. Here is how the potato bed is looking these days. Um, most of these plants have died way back. Um, been sticking my hand down in there every couple days and just feeling around. I already harvested a few smaller potatoes, so we're just going to let these go a little bit longer and then we will do a full harvest. Over here, this dill is out of control in the back there. I will be harvesting some dill very soon. Um, use that to make some dips and like tzatziki sauce. Um, save some for pickling the bee balm coming up here nicely and then a few little lavender plants are starting to pop up and then here's the garlic um, this garlic will probably be harvested this week sometime um, so since the bottoms are nice and dry and dying back I'm gonna pull these out and harvest these very soon the onions, oh my goodness, we have not had rain in so long and we just got some rain this morning and it has perked up these onions. So I need to come out here, I'm gonna harvest some of these onion tops and start making sure they have enough room so they can bulb out there in the soil. Now in the main garden, if you look here, there it is. You can see some of the peas are here on the fencing. I have been harvesting peas every other day or so and using them in dinner and they are so delicious but the plants are starting to die back so I think we're near the end of the life of these peas. Here are the peas from the other angle. They are really starting to to yellow and die back there. We have a nasturtium. This is a Roma tomato plant. I actually got this one from Lowe's. It was in a three pack that I got um, all of my other tomatoes, except for those three. I started myself inside. One little lonely peanut. Here are the dry beans. So we have, um, I believe these are the dragon's tongue followed by Vermont cranberry shell. Then navy beans, black beans, Pinto beans. This corner we have celery. I wish you could smell it every day when I come and check on the garden and I walk back to this corner. I just smell celery and it is wonderful. Over here we have some nasturtiums. Beautiful peach melba nasturtium there. Here we have the tomatillos. I need to start tying them up just to make sure they're nice and safe but they have some blossoms going on. Next to them, cucumbers, trying to train them to use their fancy little tendrils to climb on the fencing there. This is another cucumber. Cucumber, I'm sure they thoroughly enjoyed this morning's rain. We have needed rain so badly. Okay, nasturtium. And this whole row, green beans, bush green beans. So we have the tender green improved, the blue lake bush bean, and then down here, provider beans. The little cucamelon, it's getting a little bit bigger. I need to go and weed around it to make sure the pressure is off. Some more nasturtiums. Pretty little blossom. Over here on this corner, some calendula that has not bloomed. This is a large red cherry 
tomato plant. I have some baby tomatoes. This is sun gold. Got quite a few down here. Some more coming here. This is sweet million. So the few down in there starting to pop up. This is a Cherokee purple tomato plant and another Cherokee purple. On this end, I have a Mexican sunflower and carrots. And I have been harvesting from the ends of these carrot beds for dinner. They're still a little small, but so, so delicious. So tender and delicious. Here we have more Roma tomatoes. So if you look inside, we're starting to get little babies in there. Another Roma, another Roma. Can I get in there and see? Another Roma plant. Ooh, this one has lots. Lots of fruit coming on there. So this is an example of a Roma plant I started from seed. This came from Lowe's and that one came from Lowe's. Just a little bit of a difference <laughs> in the plant, but this one does have fruit. Have another Mexican sunflower here on the end. More carrots and I have been harvesting from this carrot bed as well. So you can see I've been pulling from the edges. So here we have the Costaluto Genovese tomatoes. This one, I pruned it pretty intensely. It's been having some issues. I might have to pull this plant. You can see there's a little curl on the leaves um, and it just had really, really bad pest damage. So we'll see what happens with that one. But this entire row, all Costaluto Genovese tomatoes, lots of blossoms. Here's another one. You can see they kind of look like pumpkins with the deep ridges. Some more there. I see some in here. around here and see if I can show you. Some more there and here. Here we have another Mexican sunflower and a row of basil. I need to harvest basil. Probably make some pesto. And here we are with the peppers. All of these are bell peppers. So they're coming on nicely. And then we get to the hot peppers. So the hot peppers are producing a lot more right now than the bell peppers. Here are the sugar rush peach peppers. Not much longer on these. And one thing I always forget to mention in these tours, I have oregano planted among the peppers and I always forget to mention the oregano so it won't be long until I harvest that as well next to these peppers more tomatoes these are the big boy slicers not much fruit on these yet I see one here. Hello, baby tomato. This row is all kidney beans, light and dark red kidney beans. It will not be long until they start blossoming and providing so many beans. I love growing, harvesting, and eating beans. 
the marigolds and the planters, um, they're a little bit stunted right now and I think it's just because it's been so dry and I've had to hand water. So here, this is a petite mix. And then these here are the yellow Inca marigolds. Here we are at the older blueberry bush on the property. We have already harvested about a handful of berries, but as you can see, oh my goodness, it's time to harvest some more. Nothing like fresh, bright blueberries. Oh, look at this cluster here. That rich, dark color, oh, so wonderful. Definitely harvesting blueberries today. Here we are at the squash, melon, and pumpkin bed. So here in the back, I have four zucchini. And then up front, I have four yellow squash. I see lots of female flowers about to bloom. Hopefully there are some males in there as well. As well and they will bloom at the same time so that we can start getting lots of yummy squash. Here we have the melons. The cantaloupe that's in the back, there's a lot of weed and grass pressure back there. I need to clean that up. Cantaloupe here, watermelon down here in the front. And then all of those are pumpkins. So many different varieties. So I have Long Island cheese, I have Blue Hubbard, Casper, Cinderella. Actually, this one right here that is vining out beautifully is Cinderella. Um, I have Buttercup, Fairy Tale, Big Macs, White Flat. So many different varieties of pumpkins and winter squash. I absolutely love pumpkins. Like, I mean, obsessed with pumpkins. My husband and I got married in October. Well, it's our favorite month, but also so we could have pumpkins. So pumpkins make the best decor. Speaking of beauty and decor, look at these sunflowers. So these are pro-cut sunflowers. Um, there are different varieties in there that have not uh, bloomed yet. So I have a red variety and also it's a, I think it's called red lemon or lemon bicolor, something like that. It's um, it's kind of an ombre effect that has a light yellow that transfers into a kind of pale red. But I am loving these sunflowers and so are the butterflies. The butterflies come by every afternoon and just have a field day on these sunflowers. Here we are on the patio for the green stalk garden. And all of these are first year bare root June bearer strawberries, and then one surprise snapdragon. This was full of spinach and lettuce, but they have all done their time and been pulled. So I planted nasturtiums in this entire green stalk. So the ones up top were planted first, and then I just planted some more seeds in the bottom tier. Watch out, Milo. Here we have some chives. And then this was full of lettuce, three different varieties of lettuce. I just recently went through and filled the entire green stalk with marigold seeds. Here we have a Mexican sunflower and some nasturtiums. So a couple, couple blossoms there, a couple blooms. And then this green stalk is all strawberries as well. Most of these are first year bare root, and then the bottom two tiers have second year that I planted from bare root. Um, they are producing some fruit up top, but since they are first year plants, it probably won't do much. I'm just gonna leave them there just to see what happens. Thanks for joining me on today's garden tour. Hopefully there will be some more harvesting uh, in the near future and hopefully the weather cooperates and we get a little bit more rain than what we've been having, but I'm not gonna complain about these cooler temperatures, not at all. Thanks again for joining me. If you like the video, please hit the like button and if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.